Hi there. In this video we are going to be installing this Langundan kitchen sink and Lilvican uh, whatever else. So let's open everything up, see how we need to cut a hole in that thing and uh, overall hope everything works nicely. They recommend you use uh, gloves so you don't cut yourself in the sharp edges. Uh, probably it's for the best. Uh, it has some strengthening as you can see here for the edges, which is tiny spot welded in place, and it has another strengthening for the uh, for the edge right here. Really nice to weld it. So overall, and uh, this thing again giving a bit of structure. Uh, up until now, I really like it. It has a gasket in here, so I don't need to put silicone or whatever underneath it. Good, really good up until now. Doing this thing fully backwards uh, compared to what they tell us to, because this thing is already installed. This is a bit of a modified install for the dishwasher in here, which shouldn't in theory be here in, from what IKEA see, uh, says. So I cannot uh, mark on the countertop the edges of this thing from underneath. So I uh, I simply used uh, a, a 90 degree uh, iron. Not sure where it actually is. Anyway, yeah, my father gave it to me. Okay, used this thing. So we went from inside marked here and then marked on the outside the edges of this thing. Same on the other side and then measured from here to here to have the edge of this thing uh, right there and then the cut will be actually a bit uh, more to the inside in theory we for sure we are not touching that metal in there but we are getting as close to it as possible because i don't want this thing to be too far um, in the other side and now we simply mark it all around and then make another marking at one centimeter from the mark that we make by simply using the edge of the sink and cut on that one centimeter smaller mark. Basically it will just allow this to seal on the one centimeter and that should be it. Marked everything, the inside line is where we need to cut, yes here we don't have a centimeter but that is because this allows us to have a bigger radius or actually smaller one yeah anyway never mind i think the radius itself the value is bigger but it's on a smaller position and now we will simply drill a hole somewhere to put the jigsaw in and cut all around and hope for the best drill the hole and getting ready to cut with this thing Hope all goes well. We will use a vacuum to vacuum while this is cutting and it doesn't properly fit in here so it needs to be held in front. Whatever, let's do this. It's almost cut. It was quite hard to make the round at the corners because I have uh, quite a thick blade which doesn't really go round. But it needs to be this one because it needs to be quite long to cut this, which is 3.8 centimeters thickness. And it's quite tough. Hole is cut. Honestly, considering I did it with uh, an amateur tool, cordless one, perfect. Put it in place just for a test. And it's awesome. <laughs> Okay, this was nerve-wracking considering that everything was done and bolted from the underside. But it's looking good. And even though the guy that built the house did a boo-boo here that this window is too low and there isn't much that, that I can do about it, I will uh, find something like this of a different thickness and uh, put it at the same level as this one, the window is still opening i measured it and i calculated it and i was hoping i was right and i was right i think we have 
how much milli how many millimeters do we have in here three four millimeters something like that but hey it works don't need to do further modifications so that is awesome and on this nice IKEA sink I will install a cheap Chinese one hand glow no name uh, fashion bathroom kitchen faucet kitchen or bathroom anyway so no name faucet it's they say it's a uh, stainless steel will be the judge of that I think it was a, about at least five times cheaper than a similar one at IKEA and honestly I bought it just to see if it's any good wife might not approve after I install it but we will see obviously if anything fails we will get the proper IKEA one that looks like this but we'll see I just wanted to mention probably it's not a good idea to use cheap Chinese no name hoses if you don't want uh, a flood in your house so we will replace this with proper ones and yes I also have another video will be linked in the description where I use a proper uh, a proper IKEA faucet and obviously it looks uh, the finish is much better and these are higher quality anyway I'm sealing this thing with silicone as IKEA recommends and I will not be putting the sink in until this uh, dries because it its purpose is not to glue the sink but to seal the edge of this thing okay and it's done and I'm going to get out of this room in a hurry because I'm starting to get dizzy and this will go in only after this is fully dried next I glued these things onto the sink itself with help from my daughter hey, 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 hey. Enough. Uh, it's not an exact science you just use uh, this particular guide for the size of my sink there are two other variants but this is what we used eight of these things and they change the tonality of the sound it will not vibrate so much they are a dampening measure basically being done with this in theory they tell you to follow the five uh, first five steps from this thing's book basically they mean to put the overflow in place because it's easier to do it before uh, having the sink in position but I don't like things simple so I'm going to do it after because I already set it perfectly the way I want it so I'm not taking it off so I'm going to use these things to hold it in place basically I'm skipping this it will be harder to do after but whatever so let's lock this thing in place into the countertop i guess jokes on me because these things needed to be put in place before arranging the sink into the location so it comes out and these things go in and i might actually install that thing because i'm already taking this out you need to get this into the install position which means undo the screw until the head or the top whatever you want to call it of the screw doesn't uh, stick out anymore from the plastic because when they come to you they are like this but like this you cannot rotate them and to make sure so they are normally in this position you put them into the hole like this from the edge and then they go into the hole so basically something like this but then you need to make sure they go all the way backwards to clear this edge which is actually the uh, edge of the hole so let's do that to every single one of these holes that we have needs to be with one of these in sink ready to drop right back in still haven't done this because to me it seems really easy even when the sink is installed <laughs> we'll see if i'm right or wrong Ta -da! this thing is tightened in place not sure if you can see it but there's no space between it and the countertop and this is how these things look when they are tightened come on camera focus so that's pretty good now let's continue with the install of the rest of these things in here so basically i need to remove the cut finger protection so don't cut your fingers after you remove this protection 
let's get to this step they were trying to make me do a bit sooner. So clip this in this and this in this. And let me hope that I wasn't wrong when I didn't do it when they told me to. Okay, this thing is at 90 degrees and I'm putting this in here. Hope you can see it appearing in there until it lines up with the screw hole. Can you see it? I really do hope my camera does a decent job. Now it's aligned so I could put a screw in. And from this thing, as you can see, I barely need to cut anything, about half a centimeter. So I could potentially mark it or just remember it's half a centimeter and go cut it. And again, I have a fly in here. Jesus, I need to, to install those uh, nets. The overflow is in position. Tightened it with this thing right here to not scratch anything, which is perfect. Now I need to cut inside this and... Uh, put the pipe, from which again I cut almost nothing. So, let's make this hole. As you can see, cut the hole, so I'm going to put this thing in place from underneath. One moment, please, daughter. And put the pipe through this end, and held everything in place until I uh, deal with the rest, meaning cut this end right here, to have the preparation for the dishwasher. This is held in place only by that pipe and by seeing how deep it actually is, I could have not cut it at all, but yeah, I cut it anyway. Uh, preparation for the dishwasher is done. At this point, basically, we put this in from the top. Uh, does it have the seal? Yes, the seal is in place. Uh, lift this in from the bottom onto that right there and put in uh, this screw I think with this end yes this end goes into this screw again not to scratch it come on get in there so yeah let me do that forgot to pre-adjust this thing so it reaches from underneath where I want to so I extended it about as much as it allows me to so this is the max, you don't want to be able to see this, then it's too much. So get back a bit. And that's about as much as we can extend it. Oh. Everything seems to be in place. Uh, I can basically put this in. <coughs> Almost. I have no idea exactly what the positions of these things are and what they do. This was a separate buy wasn't included so I'm going to also put that in now it seems they include with this a backup magnetic uh, part which seems to be exactly as the one that's already in so I'm not replacing that obviously but I will keep it uh, somewhere safe and this simply goes in here and it's magnetically attached okay that looks nice and yes obviously uh, the protection needs to be taken off, but and yeah, if you want to take it out, you simply press on the side and it pops out. It's magnetically once again. I'm not even sure. Did I push this in? Yes, it pushed in. So, come on. This is in. If you ever need to replace that nipple, it unscrews. But, again, I didn't need to. Put this from the dishwasher in place, it entered really well and it seems to be uh, rubber. And I didn't have any clamp from the dishwasher so I'm expecting this thing to be just a plug-in. What they were showing, uh, I don't even know where it was, it was just some random holes that you needed to, uh, to tighten in place. You can see here something like this. But I don't have just a random hose, it's directly from an IKEA dishwasher. So. I expect it to be just simple plug and play. Okay, now uh, this thing or the overflow needs to be at an angle so no water will remain in it, everything will drain in here. So it is, that is good. Again, this is fully adjusted as I need to. Uh, the key that we used until now, we put it in here for safekeeping. And this 
uh, is the cover which is not identical. You can see one of these uh, is actually bigger than the other. That means that this is its proper orientation to let water easily flow through this thing. So we insert it in there and then slowly rotate it until it locks and it's locked now. And when you need to clean this, undo this and clean it, obviously with a bucket or something underneath. Uh, what we need to do next is attach this thing right there and then this will plug into there but as you can see here this uh, has some issues it's it's melted plastic so I need to actually cut it plug this into and this is a grommet that will go onto this thing as the length uh, that is required and you, we can actually cut it but probably I will not cut it I hope I think we will see anyway so yeah that's about that Huh. Luckily I remembered that this might actually only be a plug because I had something similar in the bathroom and uh, yes it was a plug so this will be going right in there not quite easily but it's going right in there and now this end will be going in here and this other end we will cut to size and put that ring on it and then push it in there. Cut this to size and to make sure things go easier uh, one into the other, you can loop them up with some liquid soap. So now squeeze that in there and this in there. And it's done. Checked again the manual for the dishwasher. I have absolutely no clamp. And if I pull on this thing, this does not come out. I will just uh, buy uh, a clamp to attach it in here so it doesn't wobble around all the time. But that I'm just doing because I want to not, because it's actually 100% uh, necessary. So now let me connect to water the dishwasher and obviously install the faucet. They also give you some clamps uh, for this, obviously, in case you have a longer uh, run for it, but for me, bye. Yeah, nowhere to use them and it has no, makes no sense to use them. Okay, made the connections for the sink and uh, now I can connect this in here without actually affecting me for anything else. And in theory, I think no, this one doesn't have it. I, I saw online that some of them had a little spot that would warn you when this thing has gone off. Uh, this doesn't have it. So honestly, for me, I don't think it matters uh, its orientation when I install it. Getting ready to install the Starke faucet. 100% China special. I'm sure this brand doesn't even exist or the name is modified uh, yeah as Chinese always do the quality of it overall it's really heavy it seems okay but uh, the edges are a bit how you're doing but hey anyway so let me install in theory this goes into the faucet and this holds it in place from the underneath through this hole and uh, Presumably this goes here, I think, and this, this is plastic, so then presumably this goes under the plastic, somewhere, instructions, anything, nope, we need to guess. Again, these things that came with uh, the faucet itself are the wrong size for me, so I needed to buy new ones. But both this type because it's a bit more resistant and the holes inside cannot simply crack and spray water all over but this also if you bend them too many times will crack so resistant as long as you treat them nicely so I put again a little bit uh, of lube uh, in form of liquid soap on the o-rings insert them in there and tighten them 
with I think it was a 13 millimeter, at least for mine. Probably this would have been smaller. But if you buy new ones like I needed to do, make sure you get them like this. One longer, one shorter to be able to tighten because if both of them are at the same level, they occupy more space than like this. You see this difference? So they will not fit if, if they are at the same level. They need to be like this, different. Anyway, get this out of the way. Uh, there's absolutely no manual for this thing. Uh, some people say they even got this without a brand of any name on it, so I'm sure this is fake. And some people report that after half a month, uh, half a year, sorry, this thing develops rust spots. So the stainless steel is not of good quality or not a, a nice uniform mixture. Anyway, nothing that I can do now. I bought it. It was cheap. It was an experiment. When it breaks, I will buy the proper IKEA thing that looks exactly like this one. But it's much better quality. So, yeah. I need to put this thing in there, tighten it. Uh, this thing goes somehow like that. And this thing, presumably from the underside, just over this. And we should be done. And everything is done in here. Yes, this is not the best solution, but I wanted these things to stay put in there. And when you rotate this thing, this is really... Uh, I don't know, unbendable uh, holes. If I rotate it here, it will instantly do this. So this was the best solution for it to stay put where I wanted it, out of the way, uh, tucked in there. Everything else uh, connected in place. Uh, this thing is still closed because I don't have uh, yet hot water. Yes, this is connected to hot water. Uh, this obviously open. Everything working, no water drips, drops. As expected. And I need to, <laughs> to tighten this thing a bit because that level is much too much water going down the drain too quickly. And uh, for the moment, that's about it for this, uh, this thing. Let me try and zoom out to the max. Everything seems okay. IKEA option, obviously much better quality. But for the moment, I am using this thing because I paid for it for, I don't know, a test, honestly. We'll get back to you on how this thing uh, fares over time. For the moment, I can see water droplets uh, re uh, leave marks on it. That happens on, uh, on many types of uh, things. On some of them they have a special treatment that you don't really su see too many water droplets, but probably those are much more expensive. <laughs> Just wanted to show you how this thing uh, got marks from the first use. Yes, obviously I didn't wipe it or anything. It's just I installed it, tested it, and this is what we got uh, on this thing. There are no marks on the cheap Chinese thing, although it got water splashes on it, but this is full of marks. Hopefully this is not the situation uh, <laughs> during daily use. Maybe it will get a bit darker uh, all over, or maybe this water that I have in here is really hard, really full of minerals. I have no clue, but uh, I've read a bit of, uh, about this thing and there are a few people complaining that it gets lots of marks, uh, water marks on it. I don't know, we'll keep you updated. Anyway, nothing that I can do. I'm using it, it looks nice. Hopefully it will not look this bad because I have a, the cheapest sink ever at my other place and, and at my parent place, whatever, and uh, there are no bad marks like this. But anyway, different water, different place, who knows sometime uh, later but still a construction site so this is still not being used for washing dishes and uh, groceries and whatnot uh, a, a thing that i hate about it it's way too flat at the bottom so as you can see water stays in it lots of it it stains quite badly still um, and if you 
throw a little thing from your groceries, I don't know, something, a bit of dirt or who knows what, that thing will not go nicely down the drain by itself. You need to take some water in your hand, then splash it or use something to uh, the sponge, the dish sponge to get it out of here. That's kind of annoying. This should have been more inclined. But yeah, too late now. Just an update after a while. Yes, this is kind of a magnet for all sorts of uh, uh, marks on it. Even scratches, it's extremely easy to scratch it, but yeah, whatever. It is what it is, a bit too late now, so nothing that I can do about that. But this thing, the cheap Chinese, it's horrendous. I asked my wife not to remove this before I film it. It's basically rust is pouring out of it so yep it's crap don't buy cheap stuff buy the uh, the good ones from from ikea also and uh, about this sink again quite annoying honestly and the shape of it once again it's really annoying because nothing goes by itself in here it's why would you make it flat it does not make sense for me to always try to get stuff to go down the drain stupid really really stupid and it's about two years later. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> so, uh, some updates. Obviously we installed that, which is a separate video, detergent dispenser, much nicer to uh, do the dishes like that, although we kind of do them in the uh, dishwasher. That will be a separate video. Uh, the China Special Tap seems to be still working, although it creates all kind of spots all around it. Uh, they are quite hard to remove, but yeah, it was cheap. That's about all I can say about it. Still working and it was cheap, but yeah, but buy a better one. Yes, this does not really fit as it's not uh, brushed, but hey, life's not perfect, is it? This is a separate video. This little sponge support in here. Uh, as you can see, this thingy kind of got a little bit of a patina. Uh, on it so you don't really see the water droplets but you do see scratches on that particular patina but I don't care I prefer this instead of just seeing uh, places where uh, droplets were so uh, there's that this thing working absolutely perfectly in there didn't have it uh, I don't know the the uh, how is that called let me be back in a second could be called the siphon the big thing underneath or not, I could be wrong. But anyway, it never clogged more than uh, needing just to use uh, uh, those kind of uh, suction cleaners uh, once or twice and everything was cleaned and it worked well. So yeah, it's, it's good. The design is really good. As you can see, water gets trapped in this area. And now that I moved it, it starts flowing. So be prepared for that. And stuff will not always run. Actually, most of the times it will not run uh, in here. So if you want this perfectly clear, clean, without any tiny spot of anything on it, feel free to just uh, move like this the water or move this all around to make sure you direct a lot of water to move everything into this. So that kind of sucks. I wish it had a more of an angle, but I understand this. If you put something in it, it kind of stays. It doesn't topple or move because it's almost flat, but I still wish it had more of an angle. Anyway, there's that. It is how it is. Nothing I can do about it. Overall, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, the material is really good. This thing, you can only clean it by using Q-tips because it will get uh, black in there. And uh, Q-tips, the only way to keep it clean. There's that. Uh, Calcarus do does have a tendency to stay on it because it's brushed but uh, yes uh, standard products can get rid of that probably that's uh, what I need to do here and uh, yeah overall does the job exactly as expected so hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one